My name is uh, Robert Scherer, and I'm a professor in the physics department at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. Hello, my name is Kara Westmark. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Neurology at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. My name is Paul Wiggett. I'm a professor at Samford University in Birmingham, Alabama. My name is Steve Barr. I'm a professor at the University of Delaware. I'm also the president of the Society of Catholic Scientists. Hello, my name is Tim Polnasek, and I am a professor at Belmont Abbey College in Belmont, North Carolina. I'm Dr. Jonathan Lenin. I am a professor of astronomy at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, and I'm also chair of the astronomy department here. Um, so hi everyone, my name is Natasha Tovermajian. I'm a graduate student at Harvard University where I study earthquakes. Uh, my research area is cosmology, which is the study of the universe as a whole. So I study the beginning of the universe and the end of the universe and pretty much everything that happens in between. I do research in molecular biology and neuroscience, where I study the effects of pharmaceutical drugs and diet in mouse models of neurological disease. For example, mice that model autism and Alzheimer's disease. Research in the area of organic chemistry and I mix chemicals together and I swirl them around in my little Erlenmeyer flask and when I'm done I ask the chemical how does this part talk to this part from really far away. Uh, I'm a physicist and I study the basic particles out of which all the matter in the universe is made. Things like electrons and quarks and dark matter I also study what happened right after the Big Bang. And I'm fascinated by animals and the decisions that they make and uh, by animal behavior, thinking about how uh, bumblebees, for example, decide what flowers to land on and to drink nectar from, or um, studying woodchucks and where they live and how they, how they decide where to live. So why do they end up under people's barns all the time? My work is, uh, my research work has to do with planets, uh, planets in our own solar system, planets around other stars. Behind me is an artist's uh, depiction of the Europa Clipper mission, which I'm involved in, which will launch in, in the middle of this decade, the mid-2020s, go to Jupiter's moon Europa, where there's an ocean of uh, salty water under the surface, and one of our goals is to find out if that ocean might be able to support life. I study earthquakes and a lot of my day-to-day -day research focuses on understanding and anticipating in advance the big earthquakes that will be caused by faults or cracks in the earth. So I care a lot about the communities that live in places where earthquakes happen. Uh, my faith is very important to me. In fact, I think it's one of the things uh, that got me interested in cosmology. My Catholic faith and my work as a scientist are both very important to me. I love being a Catholic. I love being a scientist. I love being a scientist who is Catholic. I love science. One reason is that it shows me what an amazing world God created. My Catholic faith has always been inspiring to me and sort of part of uh, my own career and my own research. love what I do, but I also love being a scientist who is a practicing Catholic. It, it was such a legacy that Seismology, or earthquake science, is known today as the science of the Jesuits. A lot of these priests were Jesuits. So, One of the founders of the field was himself a Catholic priest, uh, Father Lemaitre. He was a Belgian priest working in the early part of the 20th century, and he helped develop what became the Big Bang model for the universe. I learned something new in science. I know that I'm learning something new about God. And if it's something that only me and other scientists understand, then we're learning in a way to pray like no one else. Uh, I'm always encouraged in, as a Catholic and a biologist by the uh, statements from the Catholic Church about us, uh, the Catholic Church being uh, a religion of reason, right? So that there is no conflict between faith and science, and that allows me to you know, think freely and creatively, not be afraid of you know, what new scientific discoveries might come about. Uh, because for me, science and faith are not only not in conflict, but they reinforce each other. 
the ability to um, to understand in my heart that the the universe is God's creation and that we have been given uh, minds that are capable of understanding that cosmos uh, as the great physicist Catholic and Catholic priest George Lemaitre said uh, to me uh, deepens my uh, my faith that um, that uh, we we can understand this cosmos and deepens my appreciation uh, of what we find. A lot of early earthquake science was pioneered by Catholic priests. So there was a large earthquake um, in Portugal and it challenged a lot of people's faith because many people were killed, some churches were toppled, and people felt like they didn't understand. Was this a message from God that they were deserving of a large devastating earthquake or was it just the natural rumblings of an active planet? They wanted to help these people that were affected by earthquakes, but also understand the complex physical reality that we inhabit. So I encourage you to um, continue to devote yourself both to your faith and to your science. And keep studying and growing in both your faith and knowledge of science. And I encourage you to follow your dreams and seek out the answers to the mysteries of the universe. You'll go grow closer to God by doing so. Keep studying your science and keep studying your faith. I hope someday you'll be able to join the Society of Catholic Scientists. We can always use more members. I hope you all continue on your careers, your young careers in science, and uh, hopefully maybe, maybe we can even collaborate someday on a research project. And I want to encourage all of you to continue on your path of uh, studying and uh, working to becoming scientists. I just want to encourage you to keep studying your faith in science. These are two approaches to our universe that very naturally intersect with each other. I congratulate all of you. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations. 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 To you. Congratulate. Congratulate all of you. Meeting in uh, the appropriately named Big Bang Science Fair for Catholic schools.